hello friends welcome to the screencast uh, today I will uh, demonstrate like uh, I will give some question answer from my forum so this guy has posted one question like uh, how to use stored procedure in the Joomla database or is it possible and so I will answer this question and and if you have uh, enough time or few time then you can contribute here I am getting a lot of questions so or not possible all the time I'm not getting enough time so if you are if you guys uh, help to answer these questions that would be very good for you also me and other user who is posting these questions so let's start with the problem okay so Joomla support the problem is this one store database procedure okay so uh, how do we store the procedure or function so today I will uh, demonstrate the function that will be easy to understand you and later you can easily implement the procedure also so let's start so uh, you can uh, include the procedure same as like uh, uh, previously we have created the install dot uh, SQL file okay so let me open one component and I will show you so let's talk about the open chat okay here you can see the install.sql here we write normally our uh, create table query here also you can write your like a um, function mysql function and you can store all the function in the database so for this demonstration i will create a simple dummy application so that you can understand so let's uh, quickly log into the php my admin so localhost slash php my admin login this is our joomla database okay so let me create one table sample table so uh, let's take the prefix it's called name db okay it has three fields only ID is of course auto increment field primary key and this one is F name and this one is L name L name these are two varchar 250 save so we have created our tables so let's look for the name DB and let's uh, insert couple of records so first name last name set more user F name user lm okay so in this table the five rec four records are exist okay now we will create one function which will uh, return the full name okay using that f name and lm so for this reason we can easily create an um, function so now i am creating this function here you can create and when a user will install then your function also install in the databases okay so i uh, will show you in the controller so that you can easily understand so let's create a function so function msql let's say and let's close this we don't want the template and echo test this one is the backend so I have to log into the backend so joomla 25.dev okay log in with the admin username and password now we'll call our function task equal to m m s q l so here we can see task so now we will create that uh, 
function mysql function okay so dollar sql so here we will write like create function now you have to give the function name so let's say um, get full name okay now this is the function name create function function name and here we have to mention the argument so f name is the argument let's change this first name and this one is character 250 and we want another argument that is last name last name and this is also character so 250 so now we have defined our two argument for this function get full name and now uh, we have to mention the return so what it returns so returns returns it's also written the character so we have mentioned the character returns now we will begin and end our function so begin oh shit. begin end end so between this we will write our operation okay so now we will declare a variable so declare full name this is one statement so you have to keep the semicolon okay now we will concatenate these two argument first name and last name so set set full name equal to concat first name now we will give one space then last name okay so we have got our full name now we will return this one return you can use case sensitive but uh, if you use the uh, capital letter it's look good full name okay so we have created our query and same things you can copy and paste like to your install.sql script okay you don't need this one just you can insert like this so let's try so we need the db instance to run this query so dollar db j factory get dbo now we'll set this query so db set query dollar sql and do if dollar db query dollar db get error message so that we can see the error message if the query not run okay so mm, let's check in the database is it exist or not so if I write like select get full name now here you can see function does not exist so let's run this controller so we have run this controller so hopefully the function created so let's run this query one more time now here you can see it's working the function has been created okay so test this one now we can alias as full name so let's click on go and here you can see full name and the first name and last name concatenated and space between this so I have shown this uh, 
core logic so you can implement anything delete edit operation you can select from another table you can do multiple complex operation tax operation anything you want you can implement so like uh, you have seen create table if not exist um, you can use that create function if not exist and also you can use like create or replace function so if it is exist then it will override that function okay so in this way you can update your function also um, so now let's check uh, we can use this function in our query okay so let's comment this we can uncomment so now we will write query from that table and we will display all the records so dollar sql equal to select star from as underscore underscore name db okay now we load all the objects so dollar rows dollar db load object print underscore r dollar rows echo pre so that it formatted so let's run this we are overriding this one so this one will not execute it because we are overriding this one and this query is executing so okay so let's go to the controller and refresh so here we can see one record so why one record load object this should be load object list so let's refresh this we are getting this okay now we can use this in our query so select id okay f name l name and we can mention our this one because this function is already stored okay so now we can mention the column name as full name so let's save this and run this so now here that's the beauty of function so full name it's automatically concatenated and you are getting this output okay so in this way you can perform complex complex operation and like uh, let's say you have a lo lots of status column okay and a status value um, is 0 minus 1 2 4 5 so your task will be you try to create a function let's say called get status and you will pass that status id 0 or 1 and in this function you will grab what is the value for that 0 that 0 if 0 then return um, some pending if 1 success if minus 2 archive etc so this is your task so if you are uh, not able to understand this one so please reply I will create another tutorial and same things uh, instead of function also implement uh, um, for procedures so if you have any problem in implementing this one feel free to contact just uh, write comment below this video I will be happy to answer and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching thank you have a good day